Today, I wanted to introduce the <clears throat> Today, I wanted to introduce Newton's laws. So there are three laws. First one states that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion until acted on by an outside force. So that makes sense with your understanding of the world, right? If a rock is sitting on the ground, it's not going to move unless you kick it or something. And perhaps not as intuitive is an object in motion will stay in motion. And the reason that's not intuitive for us is that we have to deal with things like friction or air resistance. Uh, but if you imagine a surface that doesn't have a lot of friction, like say an ice skating rink, uh, when you're going ice skating, you'll know that it's not always easy to stop. Um, and other examples, uh, say from astronomy, a planet orbiting its star is going to keep orbiting um, until some force acts on that besides gravity. Okay, so Newton's laws. So the first one is stating that an object in motion stays in motion and an object at rest stays at rest. And that concept is called inertia. Okay, so we defined the first law, but in that definition, we invoked a principle called a force. So what is a force? So Newton's second law defines what a force is. So a force is a change in momentum over time. Okay, so what is momentum? Momentum is mass times velocity. So if we plug that in, so we take the time derivative of mass times velocity In most everyday situations, your mass term doesn't change. And if you disregard that mass term, then you would have the time derivative of velocity, which we know is ma. So if you assume that the mass of your system is not changing, then you get the typical Newton's law that you see, which is F equals MA. But let's not disregard that mass term. So dm dt times velocity. So for right now, this is the definition of force that we will be using. Uh, I just wanted to do the math to show you where you get F equals MA from, but also to point out that this extra term dealing with changing mass does come into play for some situations, like for example, a rocket. So this is how a rocket works. Uh, you push mass out the back of the rocket and that creates a force that propels the rocket in the other direction. Okay, now the third law uh, just states that for every reaction there is an equal and opposite reaction. 
And in physics notation, that just means the force of object one acting on object two is the same as the force of object two acting on object one. So one of the favorite trick questions to ask students uh, in regards to Newton's third law is, is the, what is comparing the force that the earth exerts on you versus the force that you exert on the earth and asking which one is bigger. So the answer is that they're the same. So the force that you feel of the earth uh, pulling on you is the same as the force that you exert on the earth. So with these three laws of motion, uh, we can do a lot of basic physics. Um, eventually, these laws had to be updated to account for things like uh, quantum mechanics and special and general relativity. But for everyday life, these are universal equations that uh, you can use to solve physics problems. This has been a Dr. Strassbau lecture. Keep the credentials. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications.